So hi folks, I wanted to give you a little review of uh, my uh, Morris Mule trailer. And I thought while I was here, I'd at this KL campground in Lava Hot Springs, I'd give you a little walk around. Um, over here is a hot springs coming into the river. And I went over there and took a bath earlier. It's, it's awesome, it's about 100 degrees. This is warm as can be. And uh, I've got my uh, set up here with my Jeep and my Morris Mule trailer um, with the tent on top. And uh, this is my uh, private patio. So it's really an awesome place. So let's go ahead and look at this trailer. Um, I'll show you my setup. Um, this is my uh, Camp Chef uh, cook stove, and uh, I have a grill on it. I just got through making a ribeye steak and some potatoes and uh, boiled up some kale with butter and salt, and it was very delicious. Um, so anyway, this is uh, these... Uh, the top opens up to a shelf, as you can see, and they have some chains that hold it in place, and this happens on both sides. So you have a lot of working area. Um, one other thing that's really nice is I've, I put this drawer in here for my cooking ware. Um, this is a Smittybilt um, drawer system. It's actually designed to go in a Jeep. Uh, and I do also have one in the Jeep over there. Um, I guess I should point this out as well. Um, you know, this is where I put a uh, little bit of my recovery gear, my uh, some fuel in here. I have my CO2 for filling up my tires when I air down. I have two bottles to back up. And uh, I never, that, that's just awesome. I mean, I can fill up the, my tires here in about, uh, oh, three and a half minutes uh, after I air down. But also have some tie downs here for my cooler, which is nice. I have my little cooler in there. So, so anyway, uh, <clears throat> as you can see, we have a, a uh, large area here for a lot of gear. Um, I, uh, I actually have a chainsaw down here underneath this. You can see the end of it. I've got it wrapped up in canvas. And I've got some uh, pans I can wash my dishes in. Also boil water if I want to take a bath. Um, <laughs> Got this tank in front, it's a water tank. Uh, I believe it's a 15 gallon tank. And it works out really well. I got this from Forerunner. Uh, and uh, the thing that's really nice about it is it has a valve that's recessed so it doesn't get damaged or knocked off. And uh, of course I got a little line here that'll go down into the, to a pan or wash, uh, to wash dishes or whatever you wanna do. And I've got my propane strapped on the front here with a long line so I can put this uh, cooking stove on either side of the trailer or even on the ground or another trailer near, or another uh, uh, table nearby, whatever I'd like to do. Uh, one of the things I've done with this is I had the interior rhino line and also the top of it, uh, these lids are rhino lined as well. The fenders are rhino lined. Um, and then I put the original Jeep wheels on it. Now these wheels match my uh, JKU um, at home. And uh, of course I'm at my JK today. Um, so that was a, of course, extra expense. Um, the base price on this was like $4,500. Um, by the time I got through putting the wheels on and rhino lining it and putting a tent on top. Um, uh, probably about $7,500 total. And I put a um, Bigfoot tent up here, which works really well. It fits very neatly on the rails here. And uh, I did have to do a little bit of modification. Um, these are actually uh, electrical mounting rails, uh, commercial. And uh, I cut a little bit of uh, galvanized pipe and raised it up a little bit so it would, the top wouldn't interfere with this thing here. So, and, uh, but it's a nice, comfortable place to sleep. I sleep very comfortably up there. 
and uh, it's really nice to be able just to drop all your gear when you go off-road and, uh, and then come back and you hook up again and you go. So, um, let's see what else we got here. I guess we should talk about the hitch. Um, the hitch is a pit and, uh, pit and Nolan Lynette type uh, hitch, uh, kind of like a military type situation. Uh, and there's several reasons why I chose this. Um, a regular ball hitch um, is easily disconnected when uh, you're going over a, down in a ditch or over a big hump. Um, and so I didn't want to have that situation going on. And so, and then they have a 360 degree hitch, so it'll articulate all the way around and whatever you want to do. But the problem with that is, is I didn't want it to roll over on me, and it could possibly do that. It's a very small trailer. Um, I've had it through everything, though, and I haven't had an issue. So I thought this might at least catch it halfway through if it was going to roll. Um, a lot of people say they make noise. Um, they only make noise off-road, really. Down the highway, you, they never make a sound. So, uh, and, you're, and your Jeep and all your gears make a noise anyway, so I don't even notice it really. So it works out really good. The other thing is, is it has a long tongue, um, which is hugely necessary when you're going through ditches because you don't want that top to make contact with your top over here on your Jeep. So that helps out a lot uh, because sometimes you are you'll have that trailer almost straight up and down going through valleys and ditches and so forth. Um, the other thing that I have on here is I have some sand tracks. Um, these are actually real popular in Africa. Uh, they're not the max tracks everybody, you know, uh, brags about. And they're certainly not as expensive, although they're about a hundred bucks a piece. Um, the reason I got them is because you can actually bridge a ditch with them and they won't break. And I've done that many times. It's, uh, if you have to reduce the approach angle or the departure angle, these things are priceless. They help a lot. So I guess the other thing we should talk about is clearance. The clearance on this thing um, at the axle is about 23 inches. So it has a huge amount of clearance. Um, Off-road trainer doesn't get any better than this. If you want all the luxuries, obviously this isn't the thing you want. But uh, I'll tell you what, for what I use it for and the application I put it in, I'll wait for this train to quit blowing its horn. Um, it works great. So the cooking situation is wonderful. I love that. I have uh, uh, this container here, this ammo container here. Uh, has tent stakes and so forth and gear. Um, the one on top here, I just keep my fuel and oil in for my chainsaw. And then there's another one down in there that uh, has uh, old toiletries and things like that in it. So uh, it does hold a lot of gear and you can take it wherever you want. Um, great on the highway. Uh, I just love it. So one thing I should point out is while I was up near Lake La, uh, Tahoe, I uh, did the Fordyce Trail, and uh, this is what I did to my Jeep. Caved in the rock rail and everything. I mean, I hit hard, darn near rolled it. So I'll be doing a video about uh, repairing that, and uh, if the auto shop will let me film it. I don't know if they will or not. but. Uh, also on that same trip, I also got up against a rock here on Winch Hill on that trail and uh, did some serious damage. This fender was all distorted. I kind of pulled it off and got it stuck back on there to get home. But uh, yeah, so if you have any questions uh, or anything, uh, just put some comments down below and I'll see what I can do about helping you out and answering them. But, but I'll tell you, uh, these things are built like tanks. This is made by a gentleman in Anniston, Alabama. And uh, he's like an old farmer guy. And he's got three guys that help him build these things. And they are built stout. You can, you can see the wells they do on there. They're very professional, very strong. And uh, let's see if I can find some more here. So.
So I just can't brag enough about this. Now I've had this for three years of trails and uh, off-road. I've had it in every application and it has just been like a champ. So uh, if you're interested in that, uh, let me see what I can do here. I got a contact here on the back of my G on the back mm -hmm. of the trailer here. This is a gentleman that I got it from um, in Wyoming. Uh, they do have a distributor in California and I think on the East Coast as well. So, but you can certainly look it up on the internet or there's there's some YouTube videos uh, that other people have put out too. So you, you can look at those as well. So, well, that's about it. Oh, one other thing I got to point out. My friends decided to stick this on the back of the Jeep. Um, <laughs> so I've kind of... Uh, like it actually so I've kind of been doing some videos uh, about sexy back and I think I'm going to do a series about it so but anyway um, that's where we're at and uh, I hope you enjoyed the, the review and uh, I'll talk to you later